Before I start this video, I just want to let you know that all music in this video is composed by Junichi Matsuda. Please support the official soundtrack of Pokemon from Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, all the way to X and Y. And is also owned by Game Freak. And for those of y'all who don't know, this is Junichi Matsuda right here. He makes great music. Hello everybody, Tyron the God 3 here. RPGs. More specifically, turn-based RPGs. There's one thing that turn-based RPGs will continuously have that makes the game interesting. Don't get me wrong, they've got the strategy down packed and they definitely got the action down packed. But there's one thing that an RPG sort of needs otherwise it's going to fall apart. And that's music. Things just aren't the same without music in a turn-based RPG. They get very awkward. Um, uh, okay, whatever. Yeah, like that. So, with that all said, and the release of the Pokemon Symphonic Evolution Orchestra going out in certain areas and certain theaters to where people get to enjoy their favorite Pokemon battle themes, or just themes in general, as well as me finally reaching 400 subscribers, I want to thank you all for your support because you all definitely make this channel grow. So I want to thank you all for that. I decided to go ahead and make my first ever top 10 video. And my first ever top 10 video will be based on Pokemon Battle Themes. My top 10 favorite battle themes in the Pokemon video game universe. And I want to let this be known right now that these are all my opinions. Uh, excuse me? Sir, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, me? I'm just going to go ahead and get ready to unsubscribe when you take my favorite song in the Pokemon universe and not put it as number one. Um, what? If you don't make my favorite Pokemon battle theme number one, then I'm going to unsubscribe. But, but, this is my video for my opinion. I mean, feel free to put your- NO! <laughs> anyway, <sighs> this is my opinion, and if your favorite song doesn't make it on the list, or isn't number one, I'm sorry. But you can also put your favorite songs in the comment section or hell, send me a video of one of your own. I love to see how far this gets. It's my first ever top 10, so if you all like it, then you should go ahead and click the like button and just suggest that I should make more top 10s. I'm not limited to just Pokemon or the video games. I can make tons of top 10s about a tons of things. And if I know the subject well enough, then I will make a top 10. I'm just using this one as a pilot in order to see how top 10s go. But with all of that being said, I want to make a couple of rules clear first. I will not be using music from any of the remade versions of Pokemon. That means Fire Red, Leaf Green, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire, even though those that last two set of games I said hasn't come out yet. I will strictly be using music from the main game. That means music in its original format, no altercations, no differentiations, no remixed versions at all. And I will be using get main game themes, not spin-off games. I'm sorry Pokemon trading card game and pinball and conquest and Coliseum, which I love the music in Coliseum, but I'm mostly just going to be using music from the main game. I'm actually going to be using music just from the main game alone. So yeah. And last, it'll all be battle music, so I'm sorry. If your favorite theme is like the Lily Cup theme or something from a town or uh, area, then it didn't make it on the list. I'm strictly using battle music. So yeah, with all of those rules set in stone, let's get started with our top 10 battle musics of Pokemon. Number 10. Trainer theme. Red, blue, and yellow. When you start up the Pokemon game, you hear the Pallet Town theme and the Professor Oak's Lab theme. Yeah, that's all good said and done, but when you finally enter your first RPG battle against your rival, the first thing you, you hear is this. And it definitely helps that this is one of the catchiest themes in the entire franchise of Pokemon. Anybody can recognize it, and some people have hummed it in the middle of public and looked like total idiots that time that I was on the bus to I mean, yeah. The point is, 
This theme is just iconic. That's the only reason it's on this list to be perfectly honest. But even after that, when you look at its core, it's very catchy. I'm a big fan of 8-bit themes. If you can take a modern song and turn it into 8-bit, I would definitely prefer the 8-bit version more than its modern rendition. So, with a song that's already starting off in 8-bit, sounds for a very catchy tune, then I really can dig it. This theme was used a lot in the Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow video games, and it's for a reason. The theme was just overall very catchy, and it's one of the staple things in the Pokemon series. So, it's on the list because of that. It's a great song, too. Number 9. Team Rocket Grunt Theme, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. When I kept playing Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, and then ended up having to fight a lot of Team Rocket members, I always thought to myself, most RPGs have a different song for certain enemies. Why not Team Rocket? Team Rocket isn't a trainer. They're a terrorist group. They're bad guys. They're the villains. Shouldn't they have a more darker theme song? Something more to reflect that I'm battling off against villains now instead of just regular Pokemon trainers? Doesn't it seem kind of iffy that Trainer Last shares the exact same theme as Rocket Grunt number 275? There has to be some form of differentiation. And that's when Gold, Silver, and Crystal came in with this theme. Ah, it sounds great too. It definitely feels like you're in a battle against something other than just a trainer. You're, this is more than just a trainer battle now. This is a battle to save Gyarados from being tortured and turned into a red Gyarados. This is a battle to save the Goldenrod Tower from being abducted by terrorists. This is a battle in order to fight off against villains. And I can definitely see that within this theme. It makes things a lot more extreme and puts some differentiation between the original soundtrack, which was just a bunch of trainer music up till you got to the gym leader, and then this theme. This is one of the first theme songs you hear that's completely different than the generic trainer battle theme, and I congratulate them for that. So, with a good song being very catchy and being a different, unique song, it earned its place as number 9. Number 8. Legendary theme, Pokemon X and Y. Ever since Gold, Silver, and Crystal, Pokemon, more specifically legendary Pokemon like Entei, Raikou, and Suicune, ended up with their own themes that make them differentiate themselves from a regular wild battle theme. Once you heard this song, you knew you weren't battling just some regular wild Pokemon, damn it. You were battling a legendary. And while all legendary themes are different than regular battle themes and sound very good in themselves, there's not a lot of legendary battle themes that I thought were really interesting or catchy. Yeah, they were good, but they weren't interesting enough for me to recognize. They were things that I more or less forgot. I can't even remember Dialga and Palkia's theme that well, and that theme was good. It's just that I can't remember it. I remember Giratina's theme to some point, but even that's sort of dull within itself. But X and Y changed all of that with Xerneas and Evatol's theme, as well as Zayargade's theme, being very catchy to the point where I don't want to capture these Pokemon with Master Balls, because if I do, the song will end. Now, I actually want to battle them, drag the fight out, see how long it takes me, and then listen to some nice theme song in the background. This really sounds catchy. It's one of the most catchiest legendary battle themes I ever heard. Hell, I you listen to this theme even on Wi-Fi when I'm challenging other trainers. It's just that good of a theme. And it's the most iconic legendary theme in my opinion. The only reason it's this far back in this list, however, is just because there's other songs that overall beat it. But as far as legendary themes go, it's one of the best. Number 7. Gym Leader Theme, Pokemon Black and White 1 slash 2. Ever since Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, we gotten themes to differentiate from a regular trainer battle theme and a gym leader battle theme. This song right here from Pokemon Black and White definitely makes the gym leader battle theme a lot more epic, more pumped up, I'm more involved, and all the way through I get through an epic soundtrack that makes the gym leader battle just much more extreme. From the instruments that are being used like the drums and the guitar, just making the overall gym leader battle seem much more intense and extreme. 
The only bad part about this is that once you get to the last Pokemon that the gym leader has, it changes to the generic Pokemon theme. And I'm just like, ugh. But whatever. Overall, everything about this theme makes it epic. It's just... The entire theme is pumped up and it's big and... It just makes for a much more epic gym leader battle theme. Don't get me wrong, the other gym leader battle themes from previous games do a good job as well. And X and Y is weird with its techno like rave theme, but this one just does a way better job. It's pumped up, it's epic, and it's everything I look for in a gym battle. Number 6. Rival theme, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Again, the same argument can be said with my number 9 list. When you battle off against your rival, your rival is supposed to be much more different than a regular generic Pokemon trainer in red, blue, and yellow. So in red, blue, and yellow, how come you end up battling your rival with a generic trainer battle theme up until you reach the final battle with him? But until then, you're just stuck with a regular battle theme. And I thought to myself, no, this is your rival. He means a lot more. And again, that's why Gold, Silver, and Crystal, my favorite generation, by the way, changed all of that when they made your rival battle theme a completely different song than the trainer battle theme. And goddamn, does it sound good. They recognize how this rival is. And a lot of the rivals that you battle in the Pokemon series, the music reflects upon their personality. That's why in Pokemon X and Y and Diamond and Pearl, we get like a much happier go lucky theme while in gold silver and crystal we get a theme that is really badass it shows that this kid ain't playing around he's no goody two shoes he's not here to be your friend he's here to be the best and he'll push your ass in order to get you out of the way to reach that goal this is a good theme song and it reflects over his personalities and basically shows that silver's a dick but overall, it does get you pumped up to battle him. You know that you're not in a regular trainer battle now, you're in a battle with someone who means business. Number 5. Neo Team Plasma, Pokemon Black and White 2. God damn, I love this theme. It is so epic. It's a techno rave, just beasting party. Now I know what you're thinking. Tyrone, you just said that X and Y's gym battle was a rave. How come you don't like it? I do like it, but this one is really good. Not only is it very battle heavy and catchy, we're using a various different types of instruments like drums and cymbals, it also uses a very good bass line. This is a really good theme and I get pumped up every time I hear it. The original Team Plasma theme was catchy and all of the evil team organizations from Pokemon have really good theme songs, it's kind of tradition now. but. This theme in particular is one of the best to me. It just has the very pumped up, like, happy, well not happy, a pumped up intensified theme that makes you just really pumped up to battle each of the Team Plasma members uh, through their base. There's never a time where I just want to mute my game while I'm battling them. No, I'm pumped up for each and every battle that goes on just because of this theme song alone. Neo Team Plasma definitely did a good job of remixing an already good theme. Now I know what you're thinking, Tyrone, you said no remixes. Yeah, but Pokemon Black and White 2 is technically a game of its own. It's just based off a sequel to a game that already exists. It's not a remake like Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and Neo Team Plasma is a completely different team within themselves if you look in the confines of the game. Neo Team Plasma is a team that solely bases itself off serving Jettis and taking over the world. While the original Team Plasma was goal was to liberate things and make things free for Pokemon. This is definitely the Team Plasma theme sort of changed, but it was changed as a completely different song rather than just being a remake to an already existing song. Long story short, these battles happen completely on their own in the confines of the game and aren't just remade versions of things that already happened within the game itself. So they earned a spot on this list. Number 4 Chloris' theme, Black and White 2 Being the only Pokemon song with lyrics, it's really cool to just hear the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 
being heard in the entirety of the song. And with the so many different types of techno beats, you realize that you are battling a scientist. Nothing makes it more inherent that you're battling a scientist, a Pokemon scientist at that, than this theme alone. This theme does a really good job of just showing off the mechanics of the type of Pokemon that he uses, which are steel and electric type Pokemon mostly. So it's a very science heavy technical theme, which definitely fits for the character that you're battling, and definitely leads up to the battle with him. This theme is just damn catchy. And like I said, it's the only real theme song in Pokemon, well, that has lyrics, but the only real battle theme song in Pokemon that has lyrics, and I definitely couldn't ask for any better. This theme is just good. There have been several remixes of this theme that are made that make it even better, but at its core, when you just listen to this theme alone, it is good. And goddamn is that techno great. And the countdown. I love the countdown. Number three. Champion theme. Gold, silver, crystal. <laughs> Wait! Hold on a minute. Just give me a minute to speak. I know that this theme is the best. I know that this theme should be on number one. I know that there's an entire crowd of people with torches and pitchforks ready to knock at my door and crucify me for not making this number one. But hear me out. Gold, Silver, and Crystal is a really great champion theme. This theme is one of the most iconic. It's been remixed over a hundred, probably two hundred, probably a thousand different times by so many other remixers and it is basically the theme that Pokemon sort of just stands behind when they need an epic theme. This is probably the most epic theme ever in Pokemon. So why is it number three? It's gotten old. I'm gonna say that right now. It's gotten old. This theme has been used so many goddamn times, has been remixed so many goddamn times, and has been utilized so many goddamn times that at this point, it's just Pokemon's national anthem in, in terms of battle music. Yeah, this song is great. We know it's great, but it, now it's just defaultly great. I'm going to go ahead and go on the positive side and say that this is a good song. There's no doubt in my mind. This song is great. It is the catchiest theme song in Pokemon history, but at the same time, it's old. It's very old. It's second generation, and it's the best song that second generation ever has. Which is no surprise there, second generation is the best generation. Well, I won't, I won't disheart all the other generations that exist, but from what I'm saying, this song is great, but I finally have found two songs that are better. And to say, that, to say that means that this song has lasted a long time. It's held up quite a good fight. It's been my favorite for the longest. But there's two songs specifically from another, uh, from the game, uh, not this game, but another game, excuse me, that have just surpassed it. I'm sorry to say this champion theme, Lance and Red, you've been beaten. And don't get me wrong, like I said before, this song's great, especially hearing it the first time, when you battle off against Lance. It just pumps you up so much. And then fight, uh, not hearing the song again until you battle off against Red makes it even more epic. It's a great song. It's a song that you definitely do not want to turn mute on your Game Boy for. It is golden. But at the same time, gold has sort of lost its luster, if that makes any sense. It will always be a great song, but it just sort of fell flat to the next two songs on the list. So, it had a good run, but it's gotten beat, in my opinion. I'm still gonna unsubscribe. Shut up, you! Number 2. Champion theme, Pokemon X and Y. The theme, the champion theme that got beat was another champion theme. I know it's gonna be weird. What? Diantha's theme is better than Lance's? Hell no. But in my opinion, it is. Everything about the theme is just pumps you up. That middle part that's just great. And to know that this theme has several different themes in it. For a while now, we've had females become the champion of the Pokemon universe. Hell, we've got Iris, Cynthia, and Diantha. That's three in a row. 
And listening to this theme, it's just so interesting. It's got like the female touch of certain instruments while using several different other playful instruments like it used with irises, but it still has the epicness of like Cynthia's theme. It's like all, it's like both of their theme songs and Lance's combined into one. Diantha's theme just gets you pumped up. There's certain parts that just hit you, and if I screw up the syncing of this, I'm sorry, but like my favorite part is the like you just can't help but love that part. It gets you pumped up each time, and there's never a dull moment in the fight because of this. This theme is definitely one of my favorite champion themes so far. And it took a long time to beat Lance and Red's theme, but Diantha finally pulled it off. And now, before we move on to number one, I'm going to go ahead and throw in some honorable mentions and let you listen to those for a while. And as another quick announcement, if you want to hear me terribly beatbox all of these themes for a short amount of time toward the end of this video, just wait till I mention number one and wait till the video's over, and then you'll hear me beatbox the rest of the themes. Just for fun. Anyway, honorable mentions. Low health. Pokemon Black and White. 1 and 2. Rival theme. Pokemon Black and White 2. And Grunt theme. Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. All of those songs are great. But now, it's time for number 1. What could have possibly beaten Lance's theme and Diantha's theme? What could have been the best song? What is Tyrone's favorite Pokemon battle theme in the entire world? It's this. Elite Four, Pokemon X and Y. The Elite Four has been very weird in terms of the Pokemon series. In the first generation, they didn't get their own theme song. Their theme song was basically the same as the Gym Leader's Battle theme song. The same was done in Gen 2, where they ended up getting the same theme as the Gym Leader theme. In Gen 3, they finally got their own theme song. In Gen 4, they went backwards, and now they have the Gym Leader theme again, with a slight touch up on pitch. In Gen 5, they finally got their own theme, which sounds great, by the way. And then in Gen 6, they finally gave them a great battle theme. I'm talking exponentially great. This song is awesome. It's got everything you need. It's got techno, it's got rock, it's got epic drums, it's got epic everything. When you're battling the Elite Four, you know you're in for it when you hear this theme song. This theme song was even used in the anime several times. And it wasn't really remixed, it was basically the exact same song. Because you can't really remix something that's already great. This theme is awesome. This theme has everything you could possibly want in a Pokemon battle. You know you're in for an entire huge fight when you hear this. I use this song almost all the time when I'm battling off against someone on Wi-Fi. This song sounds great. You know you're in for an epic battle when you hear this theme. The Elite Four themselves weren't that tough compared to the other Elite Fours I've fought in, but this song definitely makes the fighting them worth it. This is a great song, and you hear this song in several other instances, like in the Battle Mage Yon when you get 20 straight wins. This is a great battle theme. There's no mistaking it, I love this theme more than Lance's and Diantha's. This theme is just iconic as hell. It is great. There's no lie, there's no mistake, this is a great theme. When I first heard this theme and just listened to it for a while, to be honest, I didn't really know what to think of it. But then I heard it again when I challenged the next Elite Four member, and then I heard it again during the other two Elite Four members. I finally heard it on the anime when Ash was battling off against Grant, and I heard it again in the Mega Evolution special. This theme is just beautiful and does a great job. Also heard it in the Esper episode, but it was oddly placed there. 
anyway, this theme is just rocking. It's pumped up, it's great, it's got the techno, it's got the rave, it's got the guitar, it's got epic drums, it's got everything it needs in order to become a great Pokemon battle theme. And it's going to take a lot from Gen 7 in order to beat it. So there you all have it, you guys, my favorite Pokemon battle themes, ranging from 10 to 1. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if I haven't lost too many subscribers by not making Lance my favorite theme, I want you all to give your opinions of it and put in the comments what your favorite top 10 or maybe top 5 battle themes are in Pokemon. Also, I would like your opinion on whether or not I should do another top 10 video, because I had a lot of fun making this. So, without that said, I'll see you all then, everybody. Tyrone the God 3, out.